Chapter 1, Saying Goodbye Saying goodbye can be really hard. It's like trying to navigate through a big maze filled with emotions. But with grace and support from loved ones, it can be a bit easier. I remember when I had to say goodbye to my best friend. We had so many positive memories together, like the time we built a big fort in the living room, or the time we found a secret hiding spot in the park. But now, it was time for her to move away to a new place. I felt sad and confused. How could I stay in touch with her if she was so far away? Would we still be able to make new memories together? These thoughts kept spinning in my head as we said our goodbyes. But my friend smiled and said, Don't worry. We'll always be friends no matter where we are. We can still talk on the phone and visit each other when we can. Her words gave me a sense of closure. It was like a warm hug that made me feel better. I knew that even though she was leaving, our friendship would still be strong. Acceptance started to settle in as I watched her leave. I knew that things would be different now, but that was okay. Change can be scary, but having support from those we love can make it easier to handle. As I walked back home, I thought about all the fun times we had together. I realized that saying goodbye didn't mean forgetting about those memories. They would always be a part of me, no matter where life takes us. I felt grateful for having such a great friend in my life. And even though goodbyes can be tough, they also remind us of the love we have for each other. So, next time you have to say goodbye to someone you care about, remember to hold on to those positive memories. Keep them close to your heart and know that even though things may change, the love and friendship you share will always remain. Question? How can we navigate goodbyes with grace? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2. Coping with Distance It was hard for Lily and her best friend Sarah to be so far away from each other. They missed each other a lot, but they knew they had to cope with the distance between them. They both tried their best to stay connected through communication. They would text each other every day, sharing their experiences and feelings with each other. Although they couldn't see each other in person often, they made sure to visit each other whenever they could. These visits were always special and filled with laughter and fun. They would create new memories together and cherish the time they spent with each other. Thanks to technology, Lily and Sarah were able to stay connected in more ways than one. They would video call each other frequently and send virtual hugs through the screen. This helped them feel closer to each other, even when they were miles apart. Whenever one of them was feeling down, the other would offer emotional support. They would listen to each other's problems and offer words of encouragement. This support made them feel less alone and more connected, even when they were far apart. The distance between them was tough, but they knew that their friendship was strong enough to withstand it. They held on to the connection they shared and reminded themselves of the special bond they had. They would often talk about the memories they had created together and how much they meant to each other. Despite the challenges they faced, Lily and Sarah knew that their friendship was worth all the effort. They understood that distance was just a physical barrier and that their connection went beyond that. They were grateful for the technology that allowed them to stay in touch and for the visits that brought them closer together. In the end, Lily and Sarah realized that coping with distance was possible as long as they had each other. They knew that their friendship was strong enough to withstand any obstacle that came their way. They cherished the moments they had together and looked forward to creating more memories in the future. Question, what are some ways to cope with the distance when saying goodbye? Check the video description for the answer.